Welcome back once again to howtocookgreatfood.com. If you haven't already, click that button, subscribe to our channel. Gonna make a fantastic lamb today. Let's do it. I've got a pan here. Gonna start off with a little bit of sunflower oil, but you can use any oil you like. As that happens, and it heats up, I'm gonna drop in a bay leaf, a little bit of cinnamon stick, a few cumin seeds. Just wanna very gently roast them. As that oil just gets hot, they release all their wonderful flavours. At this point we're going to add a little bit of chopped ginger and garlic. Nice and chunky that is. I'm not using like a paste today. As does some chopped onion. I'm using a white onion as you can see but go ahead and use a red. Now for our lamb. I've got some lamb here which is absolutely beautiful. It's really tender. It's a beautiful cut and I've cut it nice and small. At this point I'm going to add like a teaspoon of or a teaspoon and a little touch of chili powder. Just a little bit coriander powder and just one teaspoon here I've got of turmeric or haldi so let's just mix that around like I say this is on a kind of just above a medium heat we're not going to go crazy on this because although my meat is incredibly lean Don't want the onions and the spices to burn. So nice and gently does it. Let's cook this for about five minutes, four to five minutes. Keep stirring it. I'll be back then. Okay, that's coming along absolutely beautifully. Let's add a little touch of salt at this point. I'm also going in with some fresh green chili. Entirely up to you how much you put in. Now I've got some chopped tomatoes. I've got like a cup of tomatoes there, finely chopped. Just leave them on the top, no need to mix them in right now. Still on the medium heat. I'm just gonna cover this. Come back in about four minutes. What should happen is the tomatoes will start to break down. That's what's gonna create our gravy or masala sauce. See you in a moment. Okay, let's take a look. And that steam out of there, there'll be plenty of it. Now we're going to give this a mix. Now quite a lot of juice or water came out of my tomatoes. If yours are not so juicy, you could add a little bit of water, add a little bit. As you can see, they're breaking down nicely. What I'm going to do now is just add a little touch of garam masala powder. We're going to put this on a simmer now. Turn the heat right down with the lid off and let it steam out a little bit. Let it dry just a little bit more. I'll be back in about five or six minutes. As you can see, this is reduced somewhat and it's thickened and we've now got an amazing super I mean really lovely lamb curry on the side of there it's just really good that lamb like I say was a really high quality if you've got a kind of mutton which is a bit tougher you have to cook it a little bit longer hope you enjoy that we'll see you again soon bye bye